today what I'd like to do is show you how to turn in work on Google Classroom. I'm having a lot of students that are having difficulties getting the work turned in and I want to make sure that you understand how it's done. Now what I've done is I've opened up my, my son's Google Classroom and he's not aware of that so don't tell him. Let's take a look at French here and see if he has any work that needs to be turned in. Okay, so uh, this is your stream, all the work that has been posted. If I go here to classwork, you'll see all the classwork that has been posted. The key is to look at view your work right there. Now, these are all the assignments, and it looks like he has a couple that are missing. So let's go ahead and click on one. And to view the assignment, we need to go to view details. You can see here that we have an area for comments. If you'd like to add a comment, um, and this pretty much emails your teacher, you can put the comment in here and then make sure you click this little post button because if you don't click that, it will not email. So you must click that. Okay, um, to add or create work, here's how you do it. Right up here in this corner here, you click on the button that says add or create. Now what you wanna do is you've got a couple options here. One, you could choose a file from your Google Drive or you can link with a hyperlink or you can choose a file from your computer, or you can create new docs. And usually I have my students use these top three options. This is unusual to do this, but some teachers may have you do it. Create a doc and turn it in right then, and you can do it that way. But I suggest probably using one of these three options. So if I wanna turn in a link, a link to a website, then what I do is click on that button and I would paste the link right in there. It's really easy to do. Just go to the, the website, copy the link, come in here, paste it, um, and then um, you would add link. I'm going to cancel this because I don't have a link to, to post. Or you can um, link a file. This could be like an image file, a picture. It could be a document. Um, it could be a PDF. It could be anything like that, any type of file that is on your computer. And then it's going to ask you to drag and drop it or you can browse and I could browse here and say I've got this screenshot here that I want to add I could click this and upload it and then to turn it in I must hit the turn in button if I don't click this button it is not turned in so I don't want to turn this in because that would really confuse my son's teacher and my son by the way it would confuse him too um, so I will just delete it. So if you want to delete it, just click the X and nothing is turned in. Okay. And then you can get back to all your classes right here. You can look at them in a list or you can look at them in the, this view right here and you can click on those. So my suggestion is go into your classes, look at your classwork, view your work. And if there's anything missing, turn it in. And even if you can't get points for it, the teacher will appreciate at least that you turned it in. So maybe you'll get points, maybe you'll get lucky. So um, turn in the work, get it done, and I'm sure the teacher will appreciate you getting your work done and turned in as soon as possible. Okay, that's how to do it. Um, please get all your work turned in. I will see you later.